Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see how to write the behavioral VHDL code for SR flip flop. So before going to the code, first we will see the circuit diagram for the SR flip flop and the possible truth table for that one so that it will be easy for us to understand the code. So uh, coming to the circuit diagram, so it has got uh, two AND gates here. So for which R and S are given, that is S are flip flops inputs and a clock is provided and two XOR gates are there. So these are cross coupled with uh, Q and QB. Okay, so that they can store the output state here. Then coming to the truth table. So it has got two inputs S and R and then a clock. So uh, depending on the value of S and R, uh, the value of output will be depending. So clock should be high in every case. That is, it should be one in every case. That is, uh, whenever there is a positive edge at that moment only, this circuit will be working. So if it is a positive edge triggered uh, circuit, so generally the flip flop circuits will be positive edge triggered itself. Okay, so when S and R value is 0, 0, the output will be same, that is no change. And if it is 0, 1, the output will be 0, means it will be reset. And if it is 1, 0, then the output will be set, that is 1. And when the S R value is 1, 1 at that time, that condition is uh, taken as invalid, that is not allowed in the, uh, the operation. Alright, so now we have seen the truth table. So according to that truth table, we are going to write the code. So first I will define the entity, entity SR flip-flop 2 I have taken. So this is user uh, user choice, whatever you want you can give. So you can give some other name, I have given it as SR flip-flop 2. And this is standard, entity and E should be there, in between them we have to write the entity name. Then uh, we have to define the input output ports here, so port SR. So these are the input ports in standard logic 1 down to 0, so this is the array. SR, SR1 and SR0 it will be like something like writing SR1 comma SR0 so that means this will be S and this will be R so two bits are there so that's why I have taken a vector of two then clock it is also input in standard logic so here it is colon and here it is semicolon then Q colon out standard logic it is a output and QB is also output so close this bracket and then put a semicolon so it will be the end of input output ports here so end this entity and SR flip flop 2 ok then we will go for architectural behavioral of so this is standard guys architectural behavioral of the SR flip flop 2 is so this is the name which is used in the entity definition so make sure that you are using the same name otherwise it will throw an error so if this changes then it will be not called so it is just like we are defining the entity over there and we are calling it here okay so for this architecture this will be the begin then process inputs sr and the clock are the inputs here then variable temp1 temp2 are the standard logic variable so a variable is something which is used for in between calculations and at the end of the program it will be assigned to the output so just to make the calculations easier we are using this te temporary variables whose value keeps on changing okay so for this process this will be the begin then if clock is equal to 1 then that is if the positive edge of the clock is present then case sr is so we are using the case statement that is case sr is in all these statements value of sr will be replaced with the 0 0 that is when sr is a 0 0 then temp1 will be assigned with temp1 so that is no change okay so as i said when uh, s and r values are 0 0 at that moment the output will be uh, same that is no change will be happening in the output so temp1 colon equal to temp1 itself means no change if it is 0 1 then it will be a reset condition 0 1 then temp1 will be assigned to 0 and if it is 1 0 then temp1 will assigned with the 1 that is set condition so i am writing with the help of this one no change reset set and last one is the invalid so uh, when 1 1 temp1 will be assigned to not temp1 means not valid condition so uh, when others temp1 will be assigned with a 0 so if uh, anything else uh, happens other than these four conditions it will be assigned uh, 0 as the output so end this case statement then q so as i said the output will be taken to the temporary variable 
so here we have taken the temp uh, temp one value to the q then temp two will be not q that is uh, qb is assigned with the temp two so temp one and temp two are uh, complement to each other whose values are taken to q and q bar respectively so uh, q and q bar are not to each other so q bar will be the not of q so temp2 will be not of temp1 then qb will be assigned with the temp2 so end if that is this statement and end this process and end this behavioral module so like this we can write the code for sr flip flop with the help of a truth table so there is no need for circuit diagram as well here if you know the truth table we can write the code so i hope you like this video please guys if you are new to the channel hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more updates thank you thanks for watching